Do you know how to find LCM of two numbers? Say LCM of 25 and 15. I know we learned finding LCM by tree method, but in this lesson, we will learn finding LCM using common division method. This helps us find the answers easier and quicker. Stick around and watch till the end. Hi, I'm Nack. Hi, I'm Tack. Welcome to Nack Tack 910. LCM by common division method. Now that we learned finding LCM using the tree method, in this session, let's learn finding LCM using common division method. Say we need to find LCM of 25 and 15. In this common division method, we need to find the prime factors of all the given numbers together. For this, let's arrange numbers in a row. Now, divide the numbers by smallest prime number that divides at least one of the numbers. Let's begin with the smallest prime number and see if it divides at least one of the given two numbers. Tack, do you think any of these numbers will divide by two? Nope, both the numbers have five in the units place. Recollecting our divisibility test for two. The number should end with an even number to be divisible by two. Right, how about three then? 15 is divisible by 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Correct. So let's put 5 below 15. Because 25 is not divisible by 3, let's just drop that down too. We continue dividing like this until at least one of the quotients is 1. Which number do you think we can use next? Just looking at the numbers makes me want to go with 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5. Let's write that down. Now we're left with 5 and 1. Both are prime numbers and cannot be divided further, so let's just leave them here. Now let's multiply the prime factors, and they are 3, 5, 5, and 1, and 1. Product of these prime factors equals 3 times 5 times 5 times 1 times 1, which gives us 75. So LCM of 25 and 15 is 75. Hmm. I think I need to try solving some just by myself. Of course. Here you go. Try these. Find LCM of 24 and 36. Let's put these numbers here and start with 2. 2 times 12 is 24. And 2 times 18 is 36. Now, let's go with 3. 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 6 is 18. Let's go back to 2 again. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 3 is 6. We are left with 2 and 3. Both are prime numbers. Let's stop here and multiply all the factors. 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6. So, 12 times 6 is 72. That means LCM of 24 and 36 is 72. Okay, I think I got this. But what if I need to find out LCM for three numbers? The same way, Try finding LCM for 12, 18, and 24. Let's start with 2 again. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 12 is 24. All three numbers, 6, 9, and 12, are factors of 3. So I'll go with 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 4 is 12. Now, let's go with 2. 2 times 1 is 2, not divisible by 3. So just get that down, and 2 times 2 is 4. Let's multiply all the prime factors. 2 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 
3 times 2 is 6. So 12 times 6 is 72. That means LCM of 12, 18, and 24 is 72. Good job! Math is easy and fun when you understand your concepts with a little bit of practice and loads of fun! Like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell for more fun videos.